I think that everyone will agree with me. If Earth die, we die. So, what can be done? Addressing climate change will require many solutions. There is no magic bullet. Yet nearly all of these solutions exist today, and many of them hang on human changing the way we behave. Shifting the way we make and consume energy. The required change span technology, behavior, and policies that encourage less waste and smarter use of our resource. For example, improvement of energy efficiency and vehicle fuel economy increases in wind and solar power, biofuel from organic waste, setting a price on carbon and protecting forests are all potent way to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide and other gases trapping heat on the planet. Scientists are also working on ways to sustainably produce hydrogen, most of which is currently derived from natural gas to feed zero emission fuel cells for transportation and electricity. Other efforts are aimed at building better batteries to store renewable energy, engineering a smarter electric grid and capturing carbon dioxide from power planet with a goal of storing is underground or turning it into valuable product such as gas line some people argue that nuclear power disabled concerns over safety water use and toxic waste should also be part of the solution because nuclear plants don't contribute any direct air pollution while operating While halting a new greenhouse gas emission is critical, scientists have also emphasized that we need to extract existing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, more faithful idea for cooling the planet, so called geoengineering, shames such as spraying sunlight reflection, aerosols into the air or blocking the sun with a giant space mirror have largely been dismissed because they may pose more environmental risk than proven benefits. But planting trees, restoring sea grasses, and boosting the use of agriculture cover crop could help clean up significant amount of carbon dioxide. Restoring forests already chopped down in Brazil. For example, could drop about 1.5 million meter tons of carbon dioxide out of the air. And a recent study published by the National Academy of Science estimates that the world forest and farm could store 2.5 gigaton. Those are relatively modest number given historical carbon emission of 2.2 trillion meter tons, but every contribution is needed to curtail the world current trajectory. If you like our video, please subscribe, like and share.